Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your great goodness and mercies towards us. Thank you for this opportunity to proclaim your holy word to your people. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will inspire me by your Holy Spirit to declare your word for the edification of your people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is the ninth day of October 2020. We welcome you, our listeners, to this wonderful opportunity, to this day of favor that the Lord has given to us. Join us as we meditate on our passage for discussion today, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, reading from verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, reading from verse 9. All this I saw as I applied my mind to everything done under the sun. There is a time when a man lords it over others to his own hurt. Then too, I saw the wicked buried, those who used to come and go from the holy place and receive praise in the city where they did this. This too is meaningless. When the sentence for a crime is not quickly carried out, people's hearts are filled with schemes to do wrong. Although a wicked person who commits a hundred crimes may live a long time, I know that it will go better with those who fear God, who are reverent before him. Yet, because the wicked do not fear God, it will not go well with them, and their days will not lengthen like a shadow. Our theme is God rewards the good and the wicked. God rewards the good and the wicked. We are living in a society, in a world that is characterized by wickedness, inequality, injustice, emptiness, and disappointment. Many people today are passing through emotional, psychological, or sociological valley experience. Some even are doubting the faithfulness, the goodness, or the loving kindness and the mercy of God towards mankind just because they seem to say to themselves that God does not reward accordingly. They ask why is it that the wicked seems to prosper and they go unpunished? Or why is it that sometimes the right choice seems not to be rewarded? So they ask, will the almighty and just God not reward 
or judge accordingly. The book Ecclesiastes is a classic written by a wise man that ever lived. A king that ruled the land of Israel many years ago. He was a man invested with authority. He had the power to execute judgment on the wicked or to promote the cause of the righteous. Yet he discovered that both the righteous and the wicked people live in the same land. Sometimes the righteous received what is the reward of the wicked, and the wicked may seem to receive the due of the righteous. This, the wise man said, is vanity upon vanity. Therefore, he enjoins us from our passage of discussion to understand that God must surely reward the good and the wicked. The wicked will not go unpunished. Despite how he may prosper in his wickedness, one day the charge of this act will surely reward him. Likewise, the righteous should not be discouraged. One day, the Almighty God will pay him back. That's why the psalmist says in Psalm 37 verse 1, we should not be envious of the wicked man who prospers in his evil ways, even without the fear of God. We should not emulate them. We should not be grievous about them because their day is coming. Because a day of God's judgment is coming. Therefore, it is wise for us believers to understand that God, who is the owner of this world, will not keep quiet. One day, he is going to judge the world in his righteousness. That's why St. Paul reminds us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. He says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he will surely reap. Whether a man sows good thing, he will reap the blessings of God. If he sows wickedness, he will reap also destruction at the end. In other words, there must be judgment. Judgment of God is inescapable. God will also reward the righteous. Sometimes God may delay his judgment, not because of his ignorance, not because he is supporting the wicked, but because he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to judge repentance, but that all should come to repentance. Yes, some are taking the patience of God for granted. Some are taking it as if God has forgotten. A day of judgment, a day of reward is coming. So do not be envious about the wicked. Child of God, understand that our God is a just father. He abhors evil. He acknowledges righteousness, faithfulness, justice, obedience, truth, and mercy. Our God loves righteousness. He says from the mouth of our Lord Jesus, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto you. 
God does not support evil or wickedness. Children of God should abhor evil. Children of God should live to promote the righteousness of God. Therefore, Jesus says, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Yes, in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 12, he says, Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me to give to every man according to his works. The pay day is coming. Our God has planned a day in which he will judge the world in his righteousness. Through the righteous man, through the perfect man, Jesus Christ, his son. So I encourage you, child of God, don't emulate the way of the wicked. Emulate your father who does good to the wicked and to the, if, to the righteous man. He allows his son to shine on both people. And he wants us to become like our father. We have to love them, pray for their repentance. We have to preach the gospel for sinners to repent. We should not emulate their way. We should not hurt because there is a glorious future prepared for the righteous. There is a crown prepared for the righteous. Their end, who continue to do evil, will be destruction, hellfire. This is not the will of God for you. Child of God, remember that your reward is great in heaven. Jesus is coming soon. He said, I am going to prepare a place for you. I will come back and I will take you to the place. I will take you to that mansion. Therefore, because we have a glorious hope, let us abide in the word of the Lord. Let us continue in the truth, no matter the challenges of our time. I pray that the Almighty Father, the King of glory, will strengthen all of you so that you will not receive the reward of the evil man. Let us pray. Cause us, O Lord, to understand the end of the wicked and to abide in your righteousness, knowing that one day you will surely pay us. Not according to the reward of the wicked, but according to the reward you have prepared for the righteous, especially those who trust in your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.